Hello and welcome to the Extreme Z Podcast, the only Dokkan podcast making your favorite talk show format relevant again. I'm your host, Epic Mewtwo. And I'm your co-host, Kayvon. And welcome back to another episode of Kayvon's Mom Snoring in the Background. (laughs) This is what happens when we record late at night. Yeah, pretty much. But it's the only time we can record without other annoyances, so you're just going to have to enjoy the ASMR. Someone's going to... I gonna, apologize in advance. Someone's going to find our street or stream our podcast someday and is going to be like, wait a minute, is someone's mom snoring? This is what I like for my ASMR videos. This is perfect. Oh my goodness. I mean, isn't that a thing? Don't people like I that sort so. of thing? Weird. Anyhow, not, not Dokkan related. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not Dokkan related. Today, um, we are going to be talking about useless categories in Dokkan. That's right. This has sort of been a uh, hot button topic uh, in the community lately. Uh, that is uh, definitely something that we want to give our thoughts on. But um, yeah, definitely. That will come later in the video. Now we have our lovely news. So here we go. So take it away, Theo. You are the newsman for the Japanese version. <laughs> Breaking news. Nothing new. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so to start us off, we have Hercule. Hercule. We have uh, the Elder Kai banner getting reset. Always very nice. Um, we had a notification of a server maintenance, uh, which then led to the whole brand new craziness of the announcement of the brand new version of Dokkan being 4.9.0, which brought us the oh. notice that Chain Battle is going to be a thing, which is a brand new mode that Dokkan is going to be bringing. Um, it is what Dokkan is referring to as co-op. It's not actually co-op. Don't let Mr. Akatsuki fool you, um, but it is going to be a brand new game mode coming to Dokkan, which is something that we've been wanting for a while. So it'll be very cool Definitely. to see what becomes of that. Um, but right now it's just teasing. We do have some videos of it, um, mainly from um, like different data miners and stuff like that, who've been able to kind of uh, put together the game mode early. So very interesting from what we've seen from it so far. Um, but it is completely different from the bubble popping game mechanics. So... Very nice to be able to see a lot of change of pace from Dokkan. They call it co-op yeah. because you use other people's leads when realistically you're not... You're just bringing a friend, essentially. Yeah, like you do for the rest of the game. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I don't know. It'd be like that. It'd be like that indeed. But yeah, so Chain Battle um will be coming um in May. We'll get to the exact date in a little bit when we go over the celebration real quick. Um but basically Nappa's uh banner came, which was a surprise to all of us that Nappa got a LR and then it is a really cool uh exchange LR that exchanges into Vegeta when Nappa gets the little uh explosion. <laughs> so This does open up a slew of options for um, exchangeable cards um, because it shows that it doesn't just have to be like two characters working with each other. Um, Like someone on uh, Truthstream had a great idea and they said, um, what if there was a a Krillin and Goku, like Krillin dies at Frieza's hand and then it goes into Goku. Ooh, that would be cool. Yeah, so stuff like that, you know, could uh, honestly be really cool ideas for the cards. And I feel like with this game mechanic, it offers so much because you can literally have a whole nother card inside of a card. It's pretty cool. But anyhow, yeah. so Nappa got an LR, which was pretty dope. Um, <laughs> the, Hello, Nappa. Hello, Nappa. Hello, Nappa. Hello, Nappa. Well, um, the event with the SR Nappa also made a return. <laughs> Um, no revamp though. Sadly. Yeah, which is really weird. Um, three dragon stones were sent out for a script error. It looks like um, there was also a passive skill error. Do you know what this was? Uh, it looks uh... like target character evolved blow. Super Saiyan God. Super Saiyan Goku. Basically, his. Um, let's see. Defective content, the part was described uh, after the 9th turn and the skill was applied to after the 10th turn. So basically, um, 
This Goku had something that activated after nine turns, and it was supposed to be nine, but it said ten, and so they Weird. fixed it. Yeah, interesting. Right. Huh. Um, JP finally got the aged meat, um, which is mm -hmm. nice. They got a very underwhelming. Like yeah. Here. Yeah, it wasn't really yeah. anything special, but I mean, Wow Global had a Dokkan now for it. Yeah. Oh. Weird, uh, but I mean, I don't know. I don't think all the hullabaloo is necessary, necessary for it. Necessarily, rather, necessary for it. I mean, yeah, but, you know, I don't know, just throwing it at players, just like, up oh, here you go, just feels, like, underwhelming. Like, it's yeah. still one of the things everybody has asked for for so long, and they just kind of threw it at us True. for no reason. True. Uh, all right, we also have, if we should add on categories for some characters, um, if the information of the category is not displayed correctly, it may be improved by restarting or appearing the cache. So I guess um, some of the characters who are supposed to appear on certain categories um, did not. Um, and it also talked about um, that certain characters were also going to be added to certain categories. Um, yes. This was the notification where we got that LR Trunks and Goten, the in their super attack go into Gotenks, are now going to be added to the fusion category. And this is a little bit more underwhelming uh, by, you know, tenfold. But uh, Kid yeah. um, Kid Chaozu from the Dragon Ball uh, banner is going to be added to the youth category. So that's pretty mm -hmm. cool. Um, even though this isn't like super big um a goten and trunks gang of fusions is pretty big but I mean, um it, yes but actually no right it's not big in just that small sense but on the grander scale of things it means that a lot of cards that don't have categories that they should have that has been a huge complaint um of a bunch of players recently like uh cooler and freeze are not on revenge and krillin is not on the angry category even though it's in his name or mm. he's also not in revenge right it gives uh, a little bit of a opening for some of those characters to be able to get the categories mm. that they should have yeah Fair i'm hoping that they get them too i'm hoping that this isn't just a one-time off thing either i mean kid i mean they already did this before with you know it's like kid goku and cell being on being now in full power True, but so I feel like throwing an LR the on there, you know, too. throwing I mean, a, yeah. like an LR that's not like as relevant anymore. -ish, you know what I mean? I guess I don't know, but anyway, it shows that they can still go back on what they've done. Regardless, yeah. though, um, for Golden Week, we did get a celebration uh, or a little bit of a teaser um, with the brand new story event, um, which brought a new free to play Angel Goku, new Ultimate Gohan. And a new base form kid Goten, uh, which is really, really cool because all of those cards do not get a lot of love in this game. So it is very nice to see that um, as well. A little bit of a teaser for a upcoming uh, Majin Buu Dokkan Fest update and a Gotenks one. Um, excuse me, I need to take a sip. Which leads into the campaign um, that we had for Golden Week. Um, nice, I, I will admit, thank you. I will admit. This one was a little bit weird because he didn't actually say it was Golden Week. <coughs> like, huh. at, at least as, <clears throat> as far as I can see, there's nowhere that actually says Golden Week. And usually on the Golden Week celebration um, images, they have a big GW. Mm. So I don't know. Kind of weird that they didn't do that this time unless they're trying to bamboozle us and say this isn't actually Golden Week. Which I don't think is the case because this is Golden Week. Uh, or at least it's the celebration for it. So I don't know. Yeah. Um, but either way, um, we had obviously log and bonus and missions. The banners went up and they are really, really, really good. Um, these yeah. banners not right. only have Gotenks and Boo, they also mark the first return of Super Saiyan 2 Transforming Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Transforming Majin Vita, the Digita, respectively. Yeah. 
those guys are good. I actually just released a video um, yesterday when this will be going up about uh, those banners because there is an interesting argument to be made about their relevancy at this time um, because there is, uh, you know, there's something to say about them just in terms of timing when they release compared to 50 years. So go check that out uh, if you would like to. But moving on, uh, Gotenks and Boo obviously got updated Dokkan events. Now being one of the only Dokkan events in the game to have a fourth stage, um, which is pretty cool. Um, they will obviously probably do that more and more as more um, of the same characters get more units throughout time. Uh, we did also get a Dragonstone sale that was a super sale that was actually a super sale. Thank you. Um, wow, super sale. I know, right? It, was at, it wasn't just like a normal one that they were like putting as a GT sale, you know? <laughs> I love GT sales. <laughs> GT sale. Wow. Uh, so with this super sale as well, brought back the blue stone, um, which is really cool because there are plenty of great units um, that you can get with the blue stone. Um, I don't believe that they've updated it this round. Unless the golden Frieza wasn't there, but I think that they were. Um, it's all of the uh, the 70% leads. Um, the original. I think the golden Frieza's are new. Okay, so then that is new. Um, yeah. So AGL and Int Golden Freeze were added. Uh, Majin, Majin, wow. Merge Zamasu and Trunks are there. Um, oh, Majin Zamasu. <laughs> the 70% leaders were there. Broly, uh, the Fizz, uh, oh wait, he is the 7, wait. Oh, because SSBK is there, that's what tripped me up. SSBK is there. Mm. Um, Tech Golden Freeze is there. Int Vegeta is there. STR Perfect Cell. Fizz Goku Black. Fizz tanks, the STR go tanks, uh, the androids, the STR and Ant ones, and an Elder Kai. Do not pick anything that isn't in the unfeatured pool. I'm just telling you that right now. Pick Dokkan Fest units only because that is the best value for this if you are going to get it. Um, realistically, at this point, anything that's on here that's a Dokkan Fest is worth it because all of yeah. them have an easy A uh, or will get one. Actually, no, they all have one. <laughs> yeah, they all do. Well, there you go. Yeah. Actually, wait, no, Buhan doesn't have one, does he? Uh, Int Buhan, yeah. Oh, he does. What am I talking about? Sorry, well, I. You, well, you he's, are he's trash, tricky, my friend. I mean, no, but yes. <laughs> he's trash, bro. No, 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 no. But anyway, realistically, though, any yeah. of the Dokkan Fest ones are worth your yeah. um, worth your stone. Um, moving on. Elder Kai banner reset. Brand new story event, which was nice. Gave us 16 smackaroonies. Um, we go. had the return of the, uh, when Spopovich takes down Videl uh, story event. Uh, the Yo mm. Sun Goku and Friends got a return. And it also got a revamp with an awakening for Taboru and Gotenks. Nice. Yeah, I didn't think that Tarbo was ever going to get any love. But hey, here we I are. Know, right? Very, very nice. We live in a timeline. I know, we certainly do. Um... Easy A, all live at the moment, so if you need to do anything, now would be the time. Uh, chain Battle will be coming the 1st of May, so that will be in a couple of days. Uh, that'll oh, actually, geez, yeah, that'll actually be the day that I stream. So we will be streaming Chain Battle when it comes out, and also on the same day, at the exact same time, the um, Infinite Dragon Ball History stage comes up. Oh, nice. Free stones. Yes. So all of that will be coming the first. Um, unfortunately, I think... Let me double check. Uh, oh, no, no, no. I think it'll still be there. I was going to say, because I know... Um, coming up in the celebration... Well, let's just go over it, and then I'll, and then I'll say what I was going to say. Um, all the Dokkan events are live. GT events make a return. No idea why, but hey, they're here. Yeah. Um, we take those. We take those. That's right. Reset of Dokkan Battlefield, which is nice, which just means more stones and more um, Battlefield memory. Mm. And then, this is very exciting news for JP. VB. That's right. The boy Fizz VB is getting his Easy A on JP. Um, because obviously that was a global first uh, Easy A. So very, very cool that JP is getting that. Kind of funny that mm. um, JP got that before um, Global got the Rosé one. Huh. I thought that that was just kind of ironic. Okay. Um, but nonetheless, though, JP is getting that. So that is really, really cool, along with, obviously, his banner. And then the, uh, I think it's Time Travelers is the um, the category that's super effective against him. And yes, that is. is, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's getting a banner. Um, 
So that will actually be nice though because uh, I just looked. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. Um, the um, discounts on the banners mm -hmm. go away. The um, well, what day do they? I don't know what day they go away necessarily, but they go away in uh, eight days from the time or for the upload of this recording. So, mm -hmm. um. What I'm telling you is that you'll be able to get the stones from Chain Battle and from um, the Battlefield to be able to use them on this, which is nice mm -hmm. to use them on the discounts on the Go Tanks and the Boo Banner. So that's cool because um, I know some people were uh, were kind of disappointed that um, with Vegito Blue coming so late because he's mm -hmm. not coming until the 14th. Um, he, uh, what do you call it, will not be able to give you stones to use on the um, the discounts, mm. which is kind of unfortunate, but oh well, that's okay. Um, so their banners went up. Um, again, very, very good. Um, uh, anything else? No, I don't think so. Yeah, um, nothing else really, though. I will tell you with the Yosung Goku and Friends revamp, um, that does mean that you can get the stones again. So that's nice. Uh, it's not a revamp, by the way. Well, never mind. I lied to you. <laughs> they just added metals to the shop to TUR them. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. Well, I lied to you. It's I'm going to go. Like that. I'm going to go. I'm <laughs> leaving. Right, See ya. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll see you later. Hold on. All right, global news time. <laughs> We have good old Dokkan Battle Ultimate Clash, 18th. Oh boy, more Jiren. and I haven't done it yet. Oh, <laughs> not me. What? We have the Spring in Full Bloom campaign, which brought us a login bonus, special missions, a Dragon Stone sale, the Spirit Bomb Absorbed Goku LR with his Rising Dragon Carnival. The Elder Kai Summon, the Extreme Z Area Returns with Vegeta and Trunks now in tow. We got the uh, Little Rangers event coming back. Raditz and Videl's Flying Tutorial came back, along with Hercule's RNG Login Bonus. Funny enough, going live now, I, well, at the, at the time of this recording, it's been a day, so that's neat. Nice. Oh, wait, now. Oh, it should be up the night of this recording, yeah. Nice. So that's cool. We have the Easy Age for Merge some Masu, which is funny because VB is getting Tech VB or uh, Fizz VB, and we're getting Merge some Masu's Easy A. So it actually kind of lines up with how they fought. So interesting. That's cool. Finally, wait, what? Like Rose isn't the one who's being paired with VB. <laughs> exactly. They actually got it right this time. Wow. Wait, Dokkan getting something right? I know, right? We have the Worthy Rivals Category Summon, Extreme Z Challenge Pack. The AGL uh, type units are finally getting a Dokkan Awaken. Oh boy. Uh, Experience Mouse ZZA is back, so it's Dokkan event. And random GT events. And <laughs> Wait, of on Global 2? Not me. Yeah, GT Black Star Dragon Ball Saga, Otherworld event, and Vegeta the Indomitable Warrior. So that's that for the celebration campaign in a nutshell. Hey. I lost my place. Yeah. By the way. Yeah. Completely forgot what I was going to say. Continue. <laughs> Good job. Thanks. Wow. And uh, we got the same thing as JP did with the aged meat and key distribution. We just got more meat, JP Shaft. Because JP did get the meat. Nice. <laughs> Dokkan got global. a policy update. We have the meats. Exactly. So Global got a notice of policy update, and uh, we got top grossing for Spirit Bomb Absorbed Goku. Seven stones. Woo! Thank you, Bitch. Bum, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum, bum, bum. And uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> that's it. What? Uh, you mean I have to. What? <laughs> <laughs> global is dead. <laughs> what happened to Global Dokkan? <laughs> global Dokkan has nothing. What? <laughs> global uh, no game. Interesting. I love yeah, it. Very, very much filler to celebration time in Dokkan. I mean, to be fair, um, 
I would assume that they're probably preparing for fifth year and or um, Goku Day or Mach Vegeta Super Saiyan 3 Goku. One of the three, I guess. Getting ready to scam people is what I hear. Yeah, like how they scammed us out of a Majin Buu Saga leader. Which segues into our topic, beautiful category. Oh my god! Except that's coming after this ad. And we are back. Did you enjoy that ad? <laughs> I sure yeah. hope so. I hope you, you enjoyed it more than it, the... I will, come, I will come ring your doorbell and knock at your door. <laughs> and just be like, hey, watch that ad. Watch that and then leave. Exactly. <laughs> come to knock on your door. <laughs> hey, the, uh, the hey it's me, Goku. <laughs> hey, it's me, Goku. Except replace Goku with Kayvon. <laughs> Kayvon knocks at your door at 5 a.m. Well, you know what I, uh, you know what I like um, a lot more than um, ads. The special post category. Uh, no, I was gonna say good category. So the opposite of the special <laughs> categories, ladies Majin, and gentlemen. You don't like Majin, Majin Power? My favorite category without Majin Vegeta. <laughs> yeah, he's I'm not, not a Majin. <laughs> the M on his forehead would beg to differ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Boo isn't a Majin. He doesn't have an M on his belt. Yeah, the M on his belt. That's different. It, it counts. Yeah, it, only if it's on their belt. No true, forehead. True. But anyhow, yeah, we're going to talk about how Dokkan is releasing stupid categories instead of buffing old ones, which they should. It's bad. <laughs> like, 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 just to start off this conversation, we went through Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Monster Gated Dual Dokkan Fest, and now Gotenks and Super Buu, without a Monster Buu Saga in the lead. The last one was Super Vegito Theo, think about that. How long ago is that? When was he released? And we've gone through two dual Dokkan Fest. Not even a regular Dokkan Fest. Dual Dokkan Fest. Before even getting a new one. Was it last year or two years ago? Probably two years ago, honestly. He was one of the first categories. That's true. I remember when he came out. I remember how excited I was for him. It's the fifth one, obviously. Um, no. He's the SCR one. Uh, bruh. No, actually, he technically came out Wait, no, that what, doesn't make sense. Saying, by the way, since yeah, this I year. am. He came out, yeah, during third year. Oh, I, I love hearing the ASMR scroll wheel. Of the scroll wheel, yeah, boy. Um, we'll also take a look at. I think an important thing to look at mm. is how many like of the last couple category leads, or how many of the last like leads have been category leads why can i not find it hold on let me just look him up i was looking in the timeline just, yeah, just, just, you're gonna check his date yeah um but oh. how many of the last couple of characters uh october 2017 wow wait what was it 2017 what october on oh. halloween actually of tour of 2017 yeah that's crazy that's been three years without a new leader that's why insane. yeah so, but, but uh, okay, go ahead. I'm not gonna rant too no, much. No, no, no. Well, that's the point of this episode. You can rant. Um, I just want to take a look at. Let's look at the last leaders to kind of kickstart this. Um, even more than we already have. Mm. Let's look at every card that has been released during the fifth year anniversary. And we'll just go down the line and tell you how many of these category leads. Are for categories mm. that don't need a leader. Are we including LRs? No, because they're not dope. Uh, well, well, uh, I think we'll count. Okay, so we're only talking about specifically categories that don't need to exist. This video mm. isn't the place to talk about releasing leaders for categories that don't need it, because that's a different topic. Mm. All right, do you think last resort good category? Yes or no? Okay necessary yes or no not a necessary category but i it's something like it, it feels like it would be a dragon ball category at least okay because there's always the last resort type thing the spirit bomb the dragon fist fusion fusion mainly fusion <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh like it makes sense and honestly see that's the thing well because actually well I, there's a weird thing because vegeta and gogeta the worst part about their cards is their leader skill. Like, just because, sure, the category may be fun, but it's only just Fusion and Portara in one. 
and they don't really need it. And then they have right. Fusion and Portara sub leaks. Right. Which, like, eh? Like, if you're pulling for them, you're pulling for their card, not their leader skill. Right, 100%. <clears throat> um, Broly and Rosé led categories that uh, yeah. were already existing, so they're, that they're doesn't They're regular matter. LRs that lead, like, what, 30 or so leads. Beerus, Explosion of Anger, good category. Uh, what uh, do you think? I think it's a good category only because anger is a pretty synonymous emotion with Dragon Ball. I do feel like there have been some notable exemptions from that yes i agree uh, there definitely are is, some characters it's a pretty dragon playing. ball category yeah i'd say definitely <clears throat> um plus very very good pick for a leader honestly yes 100 percent um, that's another thing we should talk about like how good the leaders are for their category or how good the characters are for a leader for that category well yeah but we're talking about the the useless categories though aren't we i mean yeah but we should also like because i don't know I also feel like talking about, like, because if, for example, talking about Gotenks with the special pose category, I feel like it wouldn't be that looked at as a useless category if it wasn't on Gotenks. Like, if it was, if mm. it was on a Ginyu or something, mm -hmm. then, you know, okay, that would make more sense, because it's Ginyu or a True. Saiyan. True. So you, what you're but, saying is that you think that the leader affects the perception of the category. I think definitely, yes. Okay. It's as if, like, we had a Gogeta that led Portara. Everybody would just be, like, tilting their heads confused. Well, I mean, that that's would obviously a change how they feel but... about the category. But I know it's, it's very different, but you get what I mean. Yeah. Um, Bardock. But yeah, top mainly just if the category is useless. Yeah. Revenge is weird. I mean, a good leader for it being Bardock, most certainly. Very amazing. No matter the context, yes. Yeah. <laughs> very good. But, like, I don't know. Because revenge just feels like too generic of a category. Because like we have Goku's family, Vegeta's family, Wicked Bloodline, Hybrid Saiyans, like stuff that feels like standard at this point. Mm -hmm. Revenge just doesn't feel like it fits with the theming. And also, too, I feel like a lot of the time the characters are angry that would be on the anger category. They're getting revenge. Yes, that there that is yeah, revenge. Well, most of the time, revenge leads being angry leads to revenge a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. Or like if you have revenge, or in Dragon Ball specifically, I mean though. Yeah, like, so, like I can agree with that. They feel like you could have tied anger and revenge together. Yeah, like it, it's just that even if the category is good, the mm. problem is that just sometimes it it doesn't matter because the category shouldn't exist. It's like, it is it a necessary category to have, right? Especially when you already have all these other categories out here struggling, bro. Um, yeah. All right, so moving past Bardock, we have SSBK, um, which yeah, no, no, led yeah. categories already, which I think is good um, because it's that's a, a step in the right direction. This leader is great. Yeah. Krillin? Go and free the head one. Krillin, great leader. Okay. Because Krillin's weird. But I feel like the Earthlings category was a very necessary yeah, category to have. That feels like something that should have existed. Yes. Like, you have Saiyans, you have Namekians, you have whatever they're calling the Frieza race. The wicked bloodline, dude. No, 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 but I, <laughs> totally tubular, dude. But I mean like what is the yeah. name of the race? Uh, Isn't that weird know. that literally Dragon Ball yeah. has existed a franchise for that long and there's no name for the race of Frieza? I think there is in some like non-canon material, like not from the show. But it non yeah, Arcosians or something yeah. like that. Um, Wait, what? Arcosians, I think. That was I'm like not... Frost Demons or something. Oh yeah, I think that's another one. Yeah. Either way, we're not talking about logistical logistics of Frieza's. Yes, diabolical villains, useless category. Especially with the name we have right now, because, like, right. Cell is a diabolical villain. Yeah, through, well, through. okay, but the problem, I agree with this one, too. A, the category is just not that good. B, mm -hmm. it's also partially the name, because mm -hmm. the category, it literally says right here on the wiki, consists of characters who have killed at least one of their allies. So, if they've done the deed and did one of their boys dirty... They're on the category, right? Like, so, it's more of a backstabber category than a diabolical fiend category. Yeah, I, I agree. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if on Global they just called it the backstabber category. That's a pretty good name, honestly. 
Honestly, like that yeah. Too. And, and what makes sense, like, a lot of the categories nowadays just feel... Wait, why is so... Rosé on the category? Technically, he betrayed Samasu. But he didn't kill him. I mean, depends which Samasu we're talking about. <laughs> what? How? I mean, one Zamasu was from Italian. Black. So, I, I, I don't know. Weird choice. I mean, well, you. unless you consider the Earthlings his allies because he was Zamasu and he was a god who was supposed to look over them. Maybe. I don't know. Um, Maybe it's because he's technically Goku and he. Oh, can't. we're literally both so stupid. He killed Goasu. Wait, what? He killed Goasu. Yeah. Yeah, he killed his ally. Zamasu killed Goasu, his master. That's why he's yeah, in the category. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Oh, okay, cut you off. <clears throat> but anyway, Goodbye. yeah, no. So, regardless, not a necessary category, I don't think. Like, Definitely not, no. It's cool weird. Yeah. Like, I like the... It, it's weird because I like the creativity of a lot of these categories, mm. but I feel like they're not necessary. Like... They do Someone just pushing it too. Like, yeah, like they it's a they, limit to the creativity. They try like some of them make sense, and some mm. of them, like sagas, make sense, right? And mm. then like races of characters make sense, but yeah. some of them are like just the weirdest thing. Like yeah. they're they do wow. this like weird thing where <sighs> they make like a specific instance mm. i'm trying to pull up the list of categories total but it's not coming up categories like they try and uh there we go all character categories they try and pull like they do these weird things like let let me find an example mm. um it kind of started after like it started with transformation boost i think where they started going off the rails a little bit because yeah. all the other ones kind of make sense, right? Fusion, Saga, uh, World Tournament characters, Peppy Gals, Hybrid Saiyans, Universe Revival Saga, so on and so forth. You get the point. But then, like, Transformation Boots, it's like, oh, okay, everybody who transforms, right? But then we had Dragon Ball Seekers, and it's like, oh, that's interesting. It's everyone who's trying to find the Dragon Balls, right? Yeah. And then Joined Forces. It's like, oh, okay, well, that makes sense because that's like a Dokkan mechanic is what they're referencing, mm -hmm. right? It's characters with multiple things. You know, movie heroes make sense because it's all the characters from the movies. And then it's like artificial life forms. And it's like, well, but isn't that like the same thing as androids? And it's like, well, no, there's yeah, like three exactly. other extra characters. And it's like, it's basically booze. Yeah. But why? Right. It kind of, you can say the same thing for Feature Saga and Time Travelers, but a bit more like, because Time Travelers is basically just mostly Feature Saga. Mm -hmm. With the addition of like Bardocks, Bojacks, Booze, which don't even make sense really. Right. Like, um, like a category that I think is a good idea and is a well execution of like one of these kind of weird ideas is Worthy Rivals, right? It's characters who Worthy are evil one. but are good now. That's good. Worthy Rivals. That's good. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. It makes sense. And then you have a category like Terrifying Conquerors. It's like, that's literally a. It's just Wicked Bloodline with more units. Yeah. And B. It's just like really specific. I don't know. Yeah. It, it's like it feels way too specific. You know. Yeah. Um. I agree. So I don't know. That some of them are just not well executed. Let's see. Uh, so that no, let's go to signature pose and go tanks. Let's talk about that. And then the Boo Saga category mm -hmm. or Boo Saga. I wish. So. You're right. I do think that... Well, actually, I will say, um, only to finish up the thought on Vegeta and Nappa, mm -hmm. if they were going to do that category, I do think that specific instance of Vegeta and Nappa is a great representation of the category because it's yeah. literally Vegeta killing his ally. Definitely. So that makes sense. But you're right. Gotenks, like... For signature pose, kind of doesn't make sense because, like, okay... Mm -hmm. When you think of Gotenks, Kayvon, just mm -hmm. say the first thing that comes into your mind. When you think of his pose, what do you think of? What pose are we talking about? Exactly. Like, What's the first thing that comes to your mind? <laughs> Anything. Because, like, I mean, he does the dab when he's base. Okay, that's one. The dab tanks. 
right? But when you think of Goat Tanks and you, what's the first image that pops in your head of Goat Tanks? What pose is he in? Uh, right now, hit him with his nose. Gro- <laughs> well, that's kind of because of legends, but like, yeah. what pose? I don't really you know? have a specific image of Goat Tanks when I think about him. That's that's the thing. True. Um, like, it also depends because like if you're t- if you're if he's signature pose. Or like special pose because he's a if they do the fusion dance. Then why is Gogeta not in the category? True, and I will say what's so ironic about that. So the reason why I ask that is because mm-hmm. I think there's two things that are so ironic about this card. One, the SSR is the most generic Dragon Ball pose of all time, and yeah. I only say that because since I collect figures, every company and their mother has made a yeah. Goku figure that's in that pose. So it's just that Gogeta pose. Let's yeah, for it. It's just the it's just him putting his hands on his hips. That's it. And then what's so ironic about the base Go Tanks card for this is that his pose is basically just Goku's pose from the infamous pose that Goku does against Vegeta in the Saiyan mm. saga. And then that they do at the end of Super. He's basically just copying that. Mm. Or at least it's the same similar like structure of the body, right? Yeah. I think that Super Saiyan Gotenks has a much more iconic pose. And not yeah. only that, the peace sign, which is more so like victory in the case of Dragon Ball, right? Is a lot more synonymous with Gotenks. There are tons of different pieces of art where Gotenks is doing the peace sign, right? I think yeah. that is a super synonymous. Oh, you're good. I think that's a super uh, synonymous pose with Gotenks is the peace sign, right? He does that in plenty yeah. of media. There's he does that when he sends off the ghosts, right? In Legends, there's art of him doing that, and not only that, when he wins in the Super Saiyan pose, um, he is also in the uh, he does a little peace sign when he wins, right? When he's not Super Saiyan three. Um, yeah. uh, I just feel like it's such. You're right. It is. It, uh, maybe that is part of the problem that like these leaders, you know, don't really make sense for the category, or at yeah, least exactly. like shouldn't lead it. They don't make sense for a leader. Yeah. Kind of weird. So like you're right. The signature pose too. Let's just look at that category in general. Isn't even that good. Um. You have basically go tanks. Um. Great Saiyamans, Ginyus, mm. and a couple of the Pride Troopers, and that's basically it. Oh, and Cooler Squad. Yep, pretty much. So, like, that's such a niche category. And like, Why do we even need it? Right, what it for- what's the point? It? Yeah. Okay, so let me ask you this, then. Mm. What do you think he should have buffed? Boo Saga? Okay, I like how he buffed youth. That mm-hmm. is very nice. I uh, do I think I like I want to say Boo Saga, and honestly, I feel like Gotenks would be a perfect Boo Saga unit to to be a leader for. And I actually, yeah, he I wish he'd be above Boo Saga. <laughs> I love the slow yeah. descent into the decision. Yeah, yeah, Boo Saga, please. We need a new leader, man. It's so dumb how we haven't gotten one. It just, it just honestly doesn't make sense. It really does not. Yeah. So, well, with the Boo Saga thing especially. But, the so, now let's talk about uh, Boo's category then. The, um... Mm-hmm. The Majin The Bell. Majin, yeah, category. Kono Power. Kono Power. So, with this card, um, they buffed, and even him could have been the leader for the Boo Saga. Like, I don't even care Mm -hmm. who it is at this point. I just want somebody to be the leader for it, right? Mm -hmm. Um, What I'm really hoping, Kayvon, I'm going to be honest, what I'm really hoping is that since they're currently kind of working through uh, Saiyan Saga and Boo Saga simultaneously, Mm -hmm. what I'm hoping is that they already have a Boo Saga leader plan and they're just not, haven't revealed it yet. Yeah, because here's the thing. We went through Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Macho Vegeta, Gotenks, and Boo. Who else is going to be leader? All that's left is Gohan. I kind of hope it's because I doubt not Gohan, I doubt though. they're going to release a kid boo. Well, at least Majin Boo Saga. Maybe that will be not even better. I mean, I don't know because I honestly think too. Talking about this boo, he definitely could have been the leader for the Majin mm-hmm. Boo Saga category. Um, I mean, 
it's literally in his name. It's Majin yeah. Buu, right? He, he, it's the saga is named after him. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, you know, and I mean, it's kind of weird. I mean, I guess when people think of Buu saga, you know, I mean, I guess in any Dragon Ball case, you mostly think of the Saiyans, but I don't know. When I think of the Frieza saga, I think of Frieza. You know, I think of the Cell saga. I think of Cell amongst the other Dragon Ball transformations. But when I think of the Buu saga, mm-hmm. I'm thinking of Vegito, Ultimate Gohan, Gotenks, you know. Um, yeah, I don't know. Right. Maybe that's just how my brain works. But the Majin Power category um, is literally just all of the Boos. Um, and what I think is so funny about this category, Kayvon, is mm-hmm. that this category literally doesn't need to exist Who, what majin power or special bows majin power it really does it's literally transformation boost with three other units That's it's it. it's like also every unit on this category minus uh fit boo and 21 is on the majin boo saga and oob yeah yeah exactly All of them are in the Boo Saga because obviously that's when he comes from. And granted, I will say the one reason why this category is nice is because they give one extra key. Well, I guess technically two if you're running two leaders to Majin characters because they need it because they have no key. Yeah, they need it. Kid Boo needs it. But that could have literally been solved with one new unit giving a boost to any character like on the boost saga granted maybe mm-hmm. that would be a little bit busted for other units that are on the saga mm-hmm. but they could have just released you know a unit that would boost that right yeah because i i, I will admit i kind of think after they're done giving awakenings to all of the um the type leaders i'm gonna call it out now come back to this podcast i yeah. think they're gonna make support units for every category we already have a uh, Supreme Kai of uh, or not uh, the West Kai was it West Kai? Yeah. Yes, West Kai boosts um, Realm of Gods. Realm of Gods. Yeah, yeah, I could see it. Yeah, and it, it's like a it's kind of a no brainer money maker to be honest. Yeah, honestly. Um, and then they could release it like every time they release a unit that has a secondary category that already exists. And like, mm-hmm. let me ask you this: Do you think what they should do then? Because their consistent pattern recently with Dokkan Fest has been they release a unit that has a category that is new and a category that is old that they lead. Yeah. Do you think, that, like for no Confess specifically, right? And then do you think that that's the, the path that they should keep walking or do you think they should just boost old categories or do you think that they should just boost one because in my mind i think a cot like well actually no this isn't even the case i was gonna say i would think in akatsuki's mind they think that unless the um the unit has like a new category right it won't sell mm-hmm. but that's a stupid mentality because ssbk didn't have a new category and yeah. he did very well in terms of people summoning for him. Exactly. So why? You know? I, and I don't know. I really don't. And I mean, like, I agree. I definitely think that some of the old categories should be buffed. Like, I think when they're doing this whole dual leader meme, they have the perfect opportunity to buff old categories that need it uh-huh. and then they can make new categories right because obviously categories is kind of the way of the future for dokkan at the moment right yeah they're gonna be doing it for a while because there's still have many things that they can do um i think they just need to focus if they're gonna make new categories because make them worthwhile, like make them something right, different. Exactly. It's, like all you the can categories make, just the same at this point. Right. You can make a category. You can make a unit buff an old category. Just pick a category that needs it and do it. It's not that hard to figure that out. Mm-hmm. A category that doesn't have a good leader. There you go. Easy. Right. Takes two yeah. seconds to figure that out. But for the new categories, right? I think what they need to do is they just need to focus on 
making like they need to really think about that because I think what they do and I only say this because it only makes sense in my head that the categories end up this bad if they do it this way because what I think is that they don't take a look at the units and then make a category based on that they do it the other way around they have an idea and then they put it into fruition without really taking a look at what units are on the category Mm. and they don't take a look at and again this is just me kind of speculating right they don't take a look at other categories as well to see if there's something similar because i feel like if they even did those easy steps right they could realize, hey, this category is literally the same as the other one, minus a couple of other things. And yeah. if you want to make categories like that, fine. Because I think, in all honesty, again, another thing, another problem with the whole category system is the naming convention, right? You're 100% mm-hmm. right on the leader skill, or on the, rather, the character that leads the category. But I also think that... um the name of some of the categories would definitely help. Like we have the diabolical villains category. You're right. It should just be called backstabbing. I think Mm -hmm. that Majin power, even in though it is a bad category, I think it is a necessary category because it, what it really is, is just Majin race. Yeah, basically it's the same thing as Saiyans. It's the same thing as hybrid Saiyans. It's the same thing as earthlings and the freezer race. It's just for Majin characters. Yeah. So it needs to exist. Right. And I think that people wouldn't complain about Majin Vegeta being on it. If it was just called Majin race or whatever. Uh Right. I feel like the fact that it's called Majin power really just, yeah, you know, shoots itself in the foot. I feel like people would still complain with it. Vegeta. True. I feel like it would still complain, so it's inevitable. What if they just called it like the boo category? Yeah, what if they just called it boo? I don't know. I don't know. Just... <laughs> Say it again, you cut out. The pink category. The pink category, yeah. Like funny enough that could be a category. I don't know. I feel like the day that they start doing colors as categories is the day when we're like, I'm right, still waiting for the bald game. category. The Come bald. on. That honestly, that's a great category though. That bro, they actually have some good units. Jiren, Frieza. Yeah, that's a, bro, there's a lot of bald characters. Krillin, Tien, Topo. Bro, that'd be a that'd be a fire cat. Zeno <laughs> is bald. Hello? True, true. Right? Yeah, that's that's an easy category to make. Piccolo? Um I don't know. I, I agree. It's so many factors that I feel like go into this. Um, but I, I do feel like that if not only they focus on the older categories that need the buffs, if they just focus on making good categories, mm-hmm. or what I was going to say before I cut myself off, actually. Yeah, good job. <laughs> is that if they want to make some of these categories that... um like are are sort of you know in my mind like i'm just gonna guess reference this idea of how i think that they do it Mm -hmm. idea based right where they do the idea and then they make the category rather than looking at the units and then making the category yeah because i think that would be an interesting way to go about making it they take a group of units and be like all right what category can we make with this right yeah um and granted i feel like you do need to do the idea way because otherwise it's going to be a lot harder to make categories because i think only so many ideas can come up with looking at units and then doing it rather than the other way around but what I think they could do is if they have some of these categories that they really want to make, you know, if if Mr. Kotsky is just really dying, he's just shaking in his chair that he really wants a special coat pose category, then make a free-to-play unit for it. Yeah. Like, the new Gotenks that they just awakened, right? He leads mm-hmm. fusion, bam. He leads special pose as well. Yeah, that would be, that'll be really good, honestly. And then, even though it's a useless category, right? At least it's not in the limelight getting some Dokkan Fest unit focused around it. And I don't know, is that adding to the problem of making more useless categories? Because then I guess it the is, leader... but it's not affecting the sunnable units. If right, I'm yeah. Because, like, Krillin is an Earthling leader. It makes sense, but it's also not the best category, but it fits, like, how it is. It's a free category. It's a very high boost. Right, it fits the free-to-play vibe. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, And I feel like that's a smart way to do it. So, 
in this regard then let's uh let's take a look what categories then um do you think need a buff besides uh, obviously uh, boost saga and i mean in terms of a, leader skill not leader? characters yes leader or just like a buff to the team in general because a new leader can also buff the team but true just the leader skill so definitely much in boost saga Honestly, it feels like mainly Maj Busa because everything else has a 150 lead at least. Um, and then we're then we're dipping into stuff like Giant. Oh, they need. Four. I mean, Giant at least has a 150 though. I guess that's true. I think they need a better leader though. See, that's what I was asking. Like, do we need better leaders? Because mm. I'd argue at this point, even though Blue Kyle, I mean, true Blue Kyle and Goku just dropped on JP and A's unit for Survival Saga, but like, well, that team seems so all over the place. It just doesn't have one concrete leader. But actually, not thinking about no, it doesn't need new leaders. So what am I talking about? <laughs> yeah, like hybrid Saiyans, for example, because we have Future Gone and Ultimate Gone, both of which have no links to help that team. Yeah, one has shocking speed, and one has literally nothing. <laughs> not good. And like, I don't know. Is there use use is use is kind of there. I but. think we can relegate some of the free to play categories to staying with that. Like Ginyu Force, do they really yeah. need a one fifty lead? No. Or do they really need a Dokkan Fest lead, I guess is what I mean. Oh, Ginyu Force? Not really. Unless they want to give us a Dokkan Fest Ginyu Goku that leads like Namek Saga 170 and Ginyu Force 150. That would be kind of cool, though. Um, yes, that would give a buff to a category that technically needs it. Actually, a buff to two categories that need it, because Namek Saga... Well, Namek Saga only has one leader, and it's the, it's the uh, Angry Goku. Which he's that really good. Super Saiyan. Do you think every category needs two leads? Not two, but every character. Not, not it, it's not that at least needs more leads. It needs more like different variety. Because like, because here's the thing: Realm of Gods, for example, is a good example. Mm-hmm. You have the hero team that you can lead with UI Goku, right? Or the villain centric team with Samasu. And there's more character. True. Beerus is a weird one. He could fit on both, technically. Right. But, like, I also honestly forgot Beerus was a Roma God lead. I'm going to be honest. With you. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like more teams need that. Like, I don't know. Like, we just need more variety. Like, Fusions has four leaders. Androids has four <sighs> leaders. We, like, Giant still only has two. And one of them is a 120 lead. Like, we need some more variety. I was going to say, too, what about the fact of, like, you know how some categories like let let's take for an example uh where's the category at um by the way did hybrid saiyans exist exist before pure saiyans i don't know uh i don't see pure saiyans on the list okay well anyway um pure saiyans right oh there Mm -hmm. it is pure saiyans oh yeah oh right because pure saiyans came a lot later actually um Pure Saiyans has a 150 lead, right? Mm. In the way of Vegeta. Right. And then in the way... And... um, Well, they have three leaders, right? Um, You're right. They have a 130 attack lead, but then they also give better HP and defense. Mm. And then Goku is just 130 all around, but he's an L, so he kind of doesn't count. So... Oh, I forgot. Wait. Yeah, he leads pure and hybrid. Um, Oh, Godku, right. Yeah. (laughs) Um, so I think more categories could get that treatment where Mm. they have like, because I think that would definitely help. Yeah. It's a nice juxtaposition because it also allows for a little bit more varied team building. Do you want to go for a team that Mm. has a little bit less attack and more HP and defense, right? Or would you rather prioritize attack? And then that also goes into, okay, well, if I'm lowering attack, do I want to bring units that have a higher base attack so then they can compensate for that and they can get a little Mm. bit of extra HP and defense? Or do I want to just go bulky, right? And run a huge tank of a team, right? Mm -hmm. You know, or since you have the buffed attack, do you want to run the tanks and then get them a little bit of an attack buff, right? Mm. It promotes team building as well by giving them varied leaders. You know, those two categories I just thought of that definitely feel like they need more leaders. Hmm. It's going to be weird to say, but Kamameha and uh, or, and Cell Saga. Really? We only have one leader for each, like one mm. real Dokkan Fest leader. True, and that's the LRs, right? Yeah, they're both LRs, yeah. 
Hmm. And the problem is, for Cell Saga especially, it's LR Cell or you use a 120 lead. Right. And, I mean, I don't know. It's so weird. It, it's so weird saying that those LRs aren't good because they are good. But, like, I feel like in a lot of people's minds, they're not that good. And yeah. I think that was just because of, like, how there they were introduced. It, yeah. yeah. Like, you know, the fact that um, they were like, hey, here's their yeah. pretty good stuff. Here's how they transform. Sorry. Uh, yeah. So, I agree. Oh, I definitely think those um, categories need a different mm. leader. Because they're both, what, 170 to... Uh, uh, Cell is 150 to HP and attack. And then one yeah. se- uh, 170 to defense. And then... Wow, actually, Gohan's weaker. I didn't even realize that. Well, like, okay, yeah. no, I guess not weaker, because he's HP 130 and then defense and attack 170. Huh. Um, regardless, I do agree with you, actually. Um, I think yeah. that those probably need... Actually, you know it is another one that probably needs a better leader? A target Goku. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're right, but... Because it's just 13. Time, I, feel like, I feel like that would also lead to another Android leader somehow. <laughs> But there's so many other know. characters that target Goku besides robots. Frieza could be a perfect leader for that category. I mean, that would be target monkey. <laughs> <laughs> True, target Saiyans. I don't know, like, do you think target Goku is a good category? Uh, okay, what in uh, idea and in execution, I guess is what I'm asking. I don't know, I'll be honest, because, like, it's a category that makes sense. Hmm. But at the same time, I don't know. Like, maybe if we got a Dokkan Fest Dr. Jiro cursed, I know, but. I mean, that to makes be fair, we do need lead. a Jiro card. Yeah, and so then you could have an excuse to give him an Android sub lead. <laughs> <laughs> but, like. I hate Dokkan. <laughs> what if we just had, like, Target Vegeta? <laughs> what? I'll be Baragus? <laughs> <laughs> well, like. Baragus and Broly category? And Boo. And then, who else, I guess? And Frieza, too. Wait, why Boo? Well, when when he's fighting him as Majin Vegeta. I mean, I guess that's really specific. I would only be like STR Fat Boo. And also <laughs> Semi-Perfect Cell. And Perfect Cell. I mean, were they really targeting Vegeta, though? I mean, no, but let's take a look at Target Goku, right? <clears throat> was Metal Cooler really targeting Goku? Or was yes. he targeting... Goku, uh, I guess. He was targeting Goku and then Vegeta stepped in and also got kicked in the, you know. I guess that's true. What about, um... Okay, I guess Hit is technically target Goku, but only because he that literally, one episode. Goku literally paid Hit to hit him. Yeah, but he's all, isn't that also the one from the 6 or 7 tournament? Or not six or seven. Uh, Universal. Okay, it's the only hit card we have. Come on, give yeah. Me a break. <laughs> uh, what about STR hit? Who's arguably better and AGL hit, and uh, oh no, that is it. Oh, and the free to play one. Are they not? What do you mean? I'm just saying that they're. Are they on the category? No, no, no. You said that's the only hit we have. I'm just saying there's other hits. Oh, um, the only good hit. I mean, STR is good, but yeah. Nah. Um. Who else? I guess you're right. I don't know. Um, I just feel like that, you know, then you could have like, hmm. What would be another character that gets targeted frequently? Target Earth category. (laughs) You know what? That's not that bad of an idea, but that's just every villain then. Yeah, pretty much. Might as well just make a villain. I feel like it only really works with Goku is the weird thing, because he is the main character and he does have the most people after him. True true why is there okay you know what this is a really Mm. good one why is there no red ribbon army category that's a great (laughs) idea for category no no no. listen 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 you have all all very limited and no because then they introduce a bunch of dragon ball characters then you have general blue you have uh, all the generals in fact just throw them all on there you have the leader of the red ribbon army the boy general yeah, Ader, Ader would be on the category. category. That's right. Technically, Jerome. Staff Officer Knight Black, right? 
Drew, 19, 18, 17, 16. Exactly. 15, right? 14, 13. <laughs> Again, more Dragon Ball love they could add in, right? Ninja Morisaki is technically on the category as well. Unless they give that category serious buffs, though, it would be just androids, essentially. I guess. But, again, Dragon Ball integration. I mean, that's if they buff it, though. Right. The Dragon Ball no, no, no. You're right. You're right. But, like, I feel like that's an I mean, easy like, concept, category to make, you know? In concept, yes, it's great. In execution, it doesn't look Which as is good the as problem think. that Bandai has. Yeah, maybe maybe we're giving them a bit too, too much uh, hate on no, this. No, 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 no. Dumb. Okay, so, like... <laughs> Give me an idea that's not like just a saga for a category. Hero of Justice. As a category? Is that not mm -hmm. just special pose? Is Ginyu a hero of justice? No, no, no. But I mean everybody except for the villains. I mean, it, Jiren. I guess, yeah. But yeah, you're right. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, like something that's not a race or a like saga or like a like a status right like I'm reps of universe all people category no i agree with you i do think i do think like okay maybe this is too broad actually an alien yeah that's way too broad like an aliens yeah, category anyone who doesn't live stupid, on Earth. Brother. um hmm what about like an animal category where it's like every character who's based on an animal or has something animal about them like give the blue dog king a card right he's on uh, the category yamcha's on there because of the wolf fang fist hmm. the saiyans are on there because they're monkeys so i guess that's then just pure saiyans huh yeah um <laughs> hmm. it's harder than we thought <laughs> yeah i don't know but this is their job they get paid to do this no, maybe this just goes to show we should stop harping on them. So no, much. we hate them. That's the point of the video. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I agree. Like, I think that they, I don't know. So then I At guess the bottom the... line, we need more buffs to old categories and just putting new ones is what we're trying to get across. At least the, the question is then for me to you, do you mm -hmm. think they should stop making new categories? They should what? Should they stop making new categories? Not at all like every once in a while a new category will be good but stop making it so frequent like every other doka fest you get a new nah, category. it's every like new one the only cave okay, on the only dokon fest let me let me put this into perspective for you okay the only new dokon fest this year that hasn't had a new category lead wait let me just make sure before i spot it out <laughs> uh yeah is ssbk Huh. The only one this entire... And by the way, when we say year, we're referring to anniversary of Dokkan, not 2020. So we're saying starting from mm -hmm. the fifth year anniversary forward. Yeah. Let's take a look at uh, fourth year. Um, LR Goku and Vegeta introduced a new category, which was a good one. Um, mm -hmm. Did the LR Trio introduce one? And so did Crying Baby. Seekers. Yes. So and then cool. Baby introduced artificial life forms. Uh, Goku introduced youth. Um, and also DB Saga. Wait, he introduced two new ones? Or was youth already a category? Uh, he was the main because his thing, these categories existed, but they Some of them didn't did, have yeah. proper leaders. Yeah. Right. Um,. Let's see. Vegeta was good because he was a pure Saiyans leader. He didn't lead anything new. Uh, mm. Transferring Vegeta. Uh, Hit. Hit is a little bit of a special case because he also leads Universe Survival Saga. Um, but he leads Universe 6, which I feel like is a necessary category. Mm. But I will say, I still feel like there should be a Universe 11 category. Unless we got like free to play Pride Troopers team. Well, that's what I'm saying. It. Like they need to give more characters. But yeah, but it's Dokkan. There's gonna be always like a new Goku every other day. True, but like there, there shouldn't. I like because the other universes don't feel like need one though because they're not as relevant. It's mm -hmm, literally yeah. seven, Most six, pretty fodder. Yeah. Um, are we counting the Pixel Boys? Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> um. Kalen Khalifa boosted Join Forces, which was good. Um, Trunks and Zamasu, again, are fantastic examples of amazing units that didn't need to buff a new category. Trunks bu mm -hmm. busting, yes. Buffing Fusion, Fusion, oh my gosh, Future, 
and then obviously being a 120 lead and Zamasu yeah. buffing ROG and then being a 120 lead for Vidal. Yeah. Um, which is a great example of a category, right? Explosion of Anger, good category, good character, good execution on that one. Um, what does Frieza lead? Wicked Bloodline, right? Yeah. Oh, no, full yeah. power. Um, <laughs> let's see. What else? What yeah, else? What else? Oh, um, I do think Siblings Bond is a good category. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Um, and a good I leader, guess, too. I guess, I guess the thing is, the more they go on introducing new categories every time, the more they kind of the bottom of the barrel. It's just becoming more and more noticeable. True. But I mean, I don't know, because they still do release good ones. I mean, like, yeah, here's the, you also got to think about this. The fact that both Majin Power and Special Pose mm -hmm. are both four key leaders and 170 across the board mm -hmm. kind of alludes to how limited and not well, limited doesn't mean bad, but how limited and underwhelming the category is. Because look at it this way. The only other two categories, or three actually, have like a 170 plus across the board with three slash four key Namekians. Mm -hmm. For itself, it's only Namekians, and right. we don't have many good ones. Mm -hmm. Wicked Bloodline, which is still a very broad category because of all the freezes we have, but it's still only Frieza, Cooler, King Gold. Yeah, which he doesn't even have his own card besides this other one. And then we have Representatives of Universe 7, which is still a very limited category because it's just the people who were in the tournament. Mm -hmm. So, And all those have like 170 across the board, not just attack. Right. So these being 170 across the board plus 4 key, to me, kind of shows like, oh, they're going to be another one of those limited categories. Right. And I mean, like, it, it's so weird, too, because I'm looking back at, like, uh, third year. So Gohan and Cell introduced new ones, and then future Gohan yeah. came afterward, and he didn't introduce a new cat. Or actually, he did, though. I was um, yeah. Master of... Master and Students Bond, yeah. Yeah, which I think, well... I don't know. I, I mean, I think that's good. I think it's a good idea, but I don't know if it's well executed. I mean, because when I think of that, I think of future Gohan and Trunks, I think of Kid Goku and Master Roshi, and I guess Krillin, and then Piccolo and Gohan. Yeah. You know? I, I mean... I agree. I, and I guess Whis and Beerus and Vegeta and Goku, but, you know, kind of different. Yeah. Um, cooler? Yeah, like... Terrifying Conquerors doesn't need to exist. Yeah. Like, as much as I hate to say it because it, it makes sense for a category because it's like, oh, he's trying to take over the galaxy. And, you know, that's like said in like every other Dragon Ball movie. But mm -hmm. like, you know, it's like, it's just unnecessary because yeah. it's just movie villains too, you know, Pretty much, yeah. with a couple of other like characters from the series. Um, so, uh, hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, no. You feel me, fam? You feel I me feel deeply? You. And I also feel we are probably just rambling at this point. No, 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 no. I think that point was should have been made. No, no. The, uh, we're all, all of our points were valid. valid but yes, yes, At the end yes. of the day, how would you answer our question? Do, does Dokkan need to stop with these categories? Are they really useless? Or are they just not as good as they used to be? I mean... Oh, also, sorry, before I answer that, what about Other World Warriors? That's a terrible category. Uh, God, why do you have to bring it's it up? It's literally <laughs> just resurrected warriors. It really is. But <sighs> I want to honestly, like I know it kind of has to exist too, but Super Saiyan Two isn't a good category either. Like, I, yeah, I guess you're right. I don't know. Like, like, it has to exist, but it. I don't like it. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I almost even don't even Super think Saiyan it has also. to. And huh? I, I only say that I don't think it has to, and I only say that just because. Literally, it's so funny that you mentioned that because I remember when they made the Super Saiyan category and I was like, oh, it's every Super Saiyan. And then they were like, no, it's only Super Saiyan. Yeah, so I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. But then, right, Super Saiyan 3 was created and I was like, oh, that makes sense because it's like the specific transformation and it's really well known and it's a lot different yeah. than everything else, right? And then Super Saiyan makes sense because it's like the first time that the characters went Super Saiyan, you know, it's like really impactful or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then I saw them make Super Saiyan 2, and I was like, wait, mm. that's a category? <laughs> See, also, we have to think about this, too. A perfect Super Saiyan 2 leader passed us by with the LR Gohan that transforms into Super Saiyan 2. True. But who did they give it to? Majin Vegeta. Why? 
who Which arguably, is so te- depending on sources, isn't even Super Saiyan 2 during that fight. Yeah, technically not. I think. It depends. He technically is, but he's not stated. That's well, weird. yes, but actually, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's always bugged me about the Super Saiyan 2 category, too. Like, the leader is a poor choice. Like, Goku being Other World Warriors and Super Saiyan 3 at least makes sense. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me make an argument against this, though, Kayvon. Okay. okay, so that's like making a category for every one of Frieza's transformations. For every one? Every one of Frieza's transformations. Okay, but well, Frieza's the only one who uses the transformations. No. King Cold, is that his fifth form or his base form? Technically, if we're going by how it should be, it should be a second form. Okay, so King Cold, oh yeah, that's right. So King Cold is in Frieza's second form category. Cooler is in the fourth form category, and also the fifth form category, which would theoretically only be his own, since Freeze is only the... No, 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 his final form is the fifth form. So then Cooler would also be fifth form in that category, and he'd also be in the fourth form, because he has the fourth form. And then, you could even go a step further beyond, and essentially, well, I really hope that they don't make, like, a Super Saiyan God category, because then that's the thing, Kayvon. If they're making Super Saiyan 2, what's stopping them from making God and Blue? No, 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 no. And then listen to this, right? What if we have ascended Frieza warriors? Because oh, then man. we're dipping into golden Frieza and metal cooler. And then what happens when we get to golden metal cooler? And what happens when we get to golden fear, final fear, 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 fear. This isn't Legends. We don't have to Super Saiyan Rose <laughs> tag. Stop it. You know what I mean? And then like, okay, so then what's another character that has a bunch of transformation cell? What if they make an imperfect cell category Here's the thing, and a semi-perfect cell? Stale. Because he, with Frieza, there's only, like, two or three people in the race. I know, I understand, are, but, like... What say is it makes sense. <sighs> okay, also, so then... Also, they're the main characters. So then, what's stopping them from making, like... Actually, that might not be a bad idea. <laughs> a buff category. Bro, that'd be great. Like, Jira would be the lead. Roshi? No, actually, bu- buff Vegeta would be the lead, let's be honest. Vegito parentheses buff. <laughs> Vegito, Trunks, Vegeta, right? Roshi, um, mm-hmm. Jiren, Topo, all on the category. God Destruction Broly, Topo specifically. Yes. Mm. All on the category. Uh, that would be a cool category, actually. Full Power Frieza? Bro, skinny category? Fit Boo, <laughs> Goku? Uh... <laughs> the... Poir? <laughs> Bro, what about the short category? Yeah, Poir, Krillin. Um, yes, Krillin, first form Frieza, Chiaotzu. Yeah, there you go. Right? Beautiful guy. Vegeta here. would. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> ouch. Ouch. <laughs> nine, that's not cool. Not cool. But on the real, though, then it'd just be Vegeta family. <laughs> Dang it, you're right. Yeah. Oh, you're Trunks sure, and Goten would also be on it. Yeah, it'd really just be Vegeta family then, huh? Yikes. Um, okay, they were starting to get too off topic now. No, yeah. But I don't know. I mean. I think you're right. I think the solution that they could take for this is that if they started making it, okay, focus more on the older categories before you make a new category. Like when they make a new unit, okay, Bandai, if you're listening, I'm going to break it down for you, okay? So when you're making a new unit, right, it's in the crafting pot because I think like literally the perfect analogy I can give you for how Bandai makes units right now is the origin story of the Powerpuff Girls where yeah. the professor is mixing up the pot and then he breaks the glass and then Chemical X <laughs> gets poured in by accident. Chemical X is a random category. Yeah, that that's what ha- Yeah, exactly. That's what's happening here. So you make the unit, decide what care. So either, right... Well, okay, because there's a couple ways you can go about it. Either you're starting with a character or you're starting with a car- category, right? Okay, so let's mm-hmm. go all three paths. We're going to make a flow chart here, okay? So oh boy. if you're starting with the character, we'll do that one first. Mm-hmm. First, pick a category that they apply to and pick a category that needs a buff or needs another leader or could have a different um, mm-hmm. number, For the leader, okay? Then, if you have a new category that you think would be applicable to that unit, make it, okay? Mm -hmm. When you're making the category, 
really think about it before you just decide to make special pose again mm. and think about what units are on it if the units are are basically the same as on another category if the units mm. link well together if some of those characters need a boost right or if those characters in general need a boost okay mm. and also if the category is good for the game and if the category is something that's necessary again don't make terrifying conquerors again even though i love cooler to death nah. right yeah. the same process can essentially be repeated just in a different order if you're making mm. a unit based off of a category that you think needs a buff choose a character that you think is fit to be the representative that shows what that category is all about right when i look mm. at super vegeto i'm like yep that man is a majin buu saga character i tell you what you know right when i look at right when i look at realm of gods i'm like ui goku that is definitely a god right there right mm. When I look at whatever Frieza character, I'm like, yep, that's definitely one of Frieza's race, right? So, mm. when you're making it based on the category, pick a unit that you think is representative and pick a unit, too, that maybe doesn't have a lot of characters already and needs a little bit of representation, right? Then you can do the same process again with the category. If you have a good category that you have an idea for, right, you can think about making it and applying it to the character if it fits, right? Now, yeah. if you want to make a character that's based on a new category, right? Because what my way of doing this, right? I don't even think you should make a character and then give them the new category. I think you should focus on the old categories first before you even mm. think about making the new category until every old category has a sizable buff. Okay. So yeah. then, because, so we're not even going to have in the equation making a character based off of the new category. You have to do those things first, right? So, yeah. um, or rather, sorry, we're not going to have um, making a new character and then making the leader based off of, um, hmm. like, making the character and then making them lead the category. We're going to do the category and then the character, right? Because... For the sake of the category, right? If you're going to make a new category, you can only do it that way. Okay? Yeah. Reasoning is, because if you're going to make a new category, there's two ways to make the new category, right? You can mm. either take a group of units and say, okay, what characters or what category would fit with all these pool of units? What units should be omitted? What units should be added once we have mm. this idea, right? That's a good way to do it because then you can target characters who you think need a boost, right? Or need a buff or whatever. Yeah. Or you can come up with the idea, make sure the idea is not stupid. Okay. <laughs> Put that in bold. Right. Make sure the idea also isn't going to cover characters. So then this goes into the category making. When you make the idea, take a look at characters that you think would be in character uh, that would be in that category. Don't leave anybody out. I'm <clears throat> cooler on revenge. It's in the title of his movie. Okay. But it's not getting revenge for Frieza. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, Toei. Uh, <laughs> so make the category, right? See what units you think are on it. If you think that it's a category that's basically already made, right? Terrifying Conquerors again. Sorry to keep bringing it up, right? Or if you think that the category doesn't have enough characters in it, doesn't have enough representation, the units don't work well together, it's special pose again, or <laughs> if it just isn't a good category, right? Scrap it. Get rid of it. Throw it in the trash. Put it on the whiteboard and say, don't do this garbage again, okay? And use it as a learning experience to not do something like that again, okay? Because then you know that that's a bad idea and you can use that going forward. There is no such thing as bad ideas because bad ideas can be used to make good ideas going forward, okay? So, wow. now you have that. Right <laughs> Thank you. Now you have that. So you go back to the drawing board. And you make the category, right? Now you have a good category, okay? Whatever it mm. is. We'll take the bald category in this case, okay? Bad. So, because I genuinely do think that could be a good category. So, you have the bald category, right? With the bald mm. category, then you pick a unit 
who you think would be good for that, right? There's plenty of units, but when you think of bald people in Dragon Ball, who's the pers first person that comes to your head? That's right, Krillin. We're getting another Krillin card, baby. Oh, let's go. <laughs> shiny head. They literally make a gag about how, head is sh how shiny his head is. He's the only one who can be the leader, okay? <laughs> he makes sense, right? He's literally the first character that's notoriously bald in dragon ball right man i can't believe chatsu won't be on the bald category <laughs> he, he will be no, oh, he has one hair. hair that's right how that's how right that? well, as, a, as a kid though he has that doesn't he not have that later on no he still doesn't pretty sure. oh okay um but anyway right so krillin's the bald category leader now Might also in junction or tn and chatsu won't be on the bald category tn is bald though <laughs> But Chiaotzu with him. Okay. Oh. Huh. Well, dang. Nah, we'll count it. We'll count it for him. That would mean that <laughs> Nappa and Vegeta also wouldn't be on the category. Dang. Fuck. Interesting. All right. So anyway, right? The bald category. So you have all the characters that are bald. Don't forget anybody. Don't forget PyCon because he just wears a hat and you can't see his head off the time. He's bald. Okay. Don't forget about it. Right? Put him on the category. Now that you have the category, do the thing that you do to construct the cards, because you're pretty good at that, okay? Dude. Most of the time, anyway. So, don't make the card first, because then if you make the card first, and you apply the category later, you're going to get the exact same situation that we described this entire podcast. Yes, I'm saying it again. Go Tanks in Special Pose. Because <laughs> he's not a good representation of the category overall. He's not fit to be the character to lead it, Right? He's not a good character to lead the category, right? The only category is either Ginyu or Saiyan, man. Come on. Right. You need not to pick a hard. character that's representative of the category. That's why it's important to make the category first and then exactly. pick the leader. Because then you know what character would be best to pick it because you see all the characters that would be good for it. Mm -hmm. And that is my full guide on how to make the category leader skill. Well... With that, I think that basically just sums up the rest of the podcast at that point. I love how in the beginning of this podcast, too, you literally, or maybe this was before we started recording, but you said something along the lines of, oh, I don't want to rant. No, that was, that was literally in the middle of the video. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> look at me now. <laughs> I don't want to rant, but it proceeds to rant. <laughs> Yeah, that's me. Anyways, I think I think we've gone on for a long enough. For yeah, now. I literally, I'm, I'm just having one of those moments. Like, wait, what just happened? <laughs> like, I just spaced out for the past like ten you minutes. Just spaced out and, and and sent your own personal letter to Akatsuki. I did, bro. I'm gonna email them on the next um, on the next like survey that we have. I'm just gonna make a script of everything that I just said and paste it in there, that and send it to them. Perfect. All right, well, guys. <laughs> I love how Kayvon's the one it. who's like, end it, end it already, because that's usually me. <laughs> no, yeah, you're right. No, we're not, we're not. No. <laughs> but yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Let us know, though, what you thought of um, Definitely. not only my uh, my extensive guide to category building, but... Um, yes, guide. Quote, yes, quote. of course. Um, but also what you think about all the more recent useless categories, what you think about the special pose category, and your other general thoughts yeah. in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Much appreciated. I'm going to go uh, play Animal Crossing now. Oh, my Nintendo. I was going to say that. No. <laughs> Thank you, Reggie. <laughs> With right. that, I will catch you guys on the next one. And no, 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 no. You have not wait, to, wait, not do the intro right. Wait, wait, gotcha. wait. So will Kayvon. And from all of us here at the Extreme Z Podcast, go. we will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>